Welcome to part 6 of the Mega Man 2 playthrough. And we're almost done with the game, just one more part after this. Ah. Wow. A castle with a skull on it. Right. You know, I always find that weird how, um, villains in fiction have a tendency to... Be blatantly know, villainous. <laughs> be blatantly evil, yes, but it's kind of a psychological impossibility to be evil and know you're evil. Unless, unless you're, you're like Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> unless you're Kefka or something, yeah. then you're just an ins you're just a you're just a psychopath. Or um, but... uh, Gygus in Earthbound. I've never played Earthbound. Play it. Would, it is with. Obscure for me. I wouldn't even know Ness exists if it weren't for the Smash Brothers series, well, and that's I wouldn't what... even know Lucas exists if it weren't for Brawl. Oh, I hate Lucas being in Brawl. It's a big fuck you to every country in the world besides Japan. Did you just fall through the wall, dude? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell what is going the, on? How is this? What? 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 What's happening here? <laughs> um, I'm falling through the floor because they made parts of it, you know, um, unwalkable. In just to be why? Oh, and why? look, they put it over instant death spikes too. How? What the? Why? To be jerks. You're supposed to use the bubble why? right here to find where it is. See. Oh, I see. So there's a way to find out. Yeah, but it's so incredible. Way with cheap. limited ammo, right? And bubble <laughs> lead doesn't use that much ammo, so it's not a big deal. And I skipped the E-Tank because I don't need it. Yeah, you've stocked up like two of the bastards, haven't you? I have four. Well, what are you doing now? I'm bored. And I almost fuck up here. <laughs> <laughs> I just managed to save myself because I forgot that room was coming. I hate those things that infinitely respawn, but it's I only hate them. In, I only hate them in Plug Man's level because they're annoying in this one part where they keep getting in your way when you're trying to. Oh, oh, oh uh, that has to have been painful. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't save myself that time. Hey, but at least this level has checkpoints. Yeah. Oddly enough, this level has the most difficult boss in the game. It's weird because it's also probably the most difficult level as well. I really don't get why they don't let you shoot in different directions with your regular gun. Eh. That would actually... It would actually make the game feel a little more smoother to me. Eh. I played Mega Man 9, and all I could think about while I was playing the first level was why... I, I want to shoot the guys who are flying above me dropping rocks, but I can't. Well, that's probably the reason why they took out multi-directional whipping in, after Castlevania 4. Just makes the game too easy. Well, it, it, if it's implemented right, it can it can make the, it can work. Like Contra, where you just throw a shit ton of fuck of enemies at you to where it doesn't help you that much, but no, Vector that's not the case in work. Castlevania Four. Well, I know Vector, that. But... Vector Man made it work, but Vector Man was a 16-bit game, you know, way above this one. Probably and developed not by Sega when they good. were really good. But... Yeah, developed by Sega when they were really good. Back when they were epic win rather than epic fail. I swear to God, someone's going to egg you for hating 8 bit games, dude. I like yeah, 8 bit I know. games, but I prefer 16 bit more because it keeps all the fun of the 2D games, but everything is actually clear. Yeah. It's not that I hate 8 bit games, it's just that they're too archaic for my. Well, I was brought up on 16 bit games. It's like watching old movies when you. It's like going back to the Star Wars series when the first movie you saw was Episode 3. Say something. Uh, oh yeah, we're supposed to Joe. be compensating, aren't we? Look. Um. <laughs> uh, Joe. Okay. Knock, Monster knock. dead. <laughs> level purple. Um. Mega Man Blue, and that and is a cheap enemy placement. That actually is kind of cheap. And um. Oh God, I, why another one was just responded? Jesus. Run. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me that it reminds me of that recent AVGN episode where he uh, did the X Men games, I think. Yeah. Or was it was it X Men? I can't remember, but hold on, let me talk about. The oh no, it was here. the Terminator. I think. Yeah, the latest one was Terminator. I think. He he hold he did on, the Terminator me... and he and he set the game so that he 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 put a wrench on his controller. Yeah, so it went by itself. <laughs> so it just it fired at an infinitely respawning Enemy. series of enemies, and then he wakes up and finds out that it he already maxed out lives. his lives at <laughs> six. At now, six anyway, lives. Um, 
This boss uh, here, you have to kill with Crash Bomb. That's the only thing that wait, will hurt it. Also, wait, it Crash Bomb. I thought this was yeah. just another level. Yeah, also, Crash Bomb. Crash Bombs do so much ammo if you die to this guy, you cannot get enough ammo back to actually kill him. So you really oh, cool. only have one shot at him. So, and essentially, the. Uh... The designers were retarded when they made this room, or just it's being, a puzzle or boss. Just, yeah, it's a puzzle just, boss, basically. But I managed to well, kill him, so I'm happy. <laughs> it's a puzzle boss, yeah. yeah basically, that's, if you fuck up, that's once, a good idea. But they should make it so that you have another shot at it. Like, leave an ammo drop at the and in front of the room for God's sake. No, you sake. have to have full ammo. To take I mean, leave a out. full ammo drop at the front of the room. Then it's not rocket science. I guess, but. When you're Basically, if you to fuck up once, you have to kill yourself off and get a game over. I no, that's why I'm saying it's retarded. Boss rush stage. Oh, this is the boss rush, as I can tell by all the teleporters. It's Stapler Man. And I take him on with the Mega Buster alone because I feel like being a badass, and I screw up a lot for some reason. This is what happens when you're trying to be too hardcore. Hardcore man. Yeah, but once you get the hang down, he really can't hurt you at all. Even the Mega Buster's like raping him, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try and guess who's next, but I get it completely wrong. Uh, not again! <laughs> Damn you, Ryan! <laughs> Damn it, Ryan, even I have a tolerance for how much Japanese I can listen to. <laughs> <laughs> it's Woodman. Who's made of wood. Wow, his health bar just extended. Ow. One hit kill. Owned. And Woodman got fucked again. Hooray. It's Bubble Man, who is still pathetically easy. Well, he's, his name is Bubble Man. What did, you, what did you expect? Honestly. Yeah, I just show him a needle it's and Bubble he freaks Man. out. <laughs> Quick Man is a git. I'm thinking Quick Man is also a suggestive name, but not such a complimentary one. Oh, you're thinking of Quickie Man. Thank you, come again. I don't know how I managed this, to kill him that quickly. Th this is this has to be the um, the lamest boss run I've uh, boss rush I've ever seen, but it's probably because you played the game about six thousand times and, the, and know well, how to and the beat weaknesses all the are actually weaknesses. Yeah, and um, I would, I if I were to play this game for the first time, I'd probably get killed about sixteen times before I got through the first boss. I'm going Flashman first. I'll leave Metal Man for last, and you will see why in a second. What is he doing? I don't know. But <laughs> guess what? I'm using the Metal Blades right now, and I'm fighting Metal Man. Oh, great. Wonderful. Watch this. I missed a couple times, but then watch, watch this hit here. God. What? He's his own the fuck? Weapon. He's weak to his own weapon. One hit kills him of his own weapon. Are you serious? Yes. That's retarded! One of the many reasons Metal Blade is blatantly overpowered. I, I keep hearing how about how Mega Man 2 is like the classic of the series or something, and... Um, it's the most well-designed have... in terms of level design. Wait, 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 this is the most well-designed. In terms of actual level design, not actual... Boss no, bosses. Okay. All right. That's that's good. Mega but... Man two and three are often considered the best of the series. And on that note, we will see you in part seven.